Here's the arrangement. The first group is a group that comes up in threes. You're going to have Betsy Hall. And Betsy Hall is the president and the CEO. I mean, it used to be people were just presidents. <laughs> Last year, they couldn't give her a bonus, so they made her a CEO also. <laughs> She's of the homeless solutions, and, and let me tell you, they, they each year put 700 folks who are homeless in ways that they could live better. Also on that same panel, you're gonna have Matt Riley. And Matt is the president and CEO. <laughs> Another man who didn't get a bonus. <laughs> but he got a title, his car is bigger. He has to carry it around like this now. <laughs> of the Morristown Ecumenical Neighborhood development, in, and, and ecumenical means that while I know the best religion, I've been nice enough to include the other minor religions <laughs> along with me so they don't get lost. So, so he's going to bring all the spiritual stuff to him. <laughs> so if you haven't prayed for, you know, this is a good time that we can listen to him. He, he's ready. And then we have Ray Acasio. And you, you've heard him before, but I don't know if they told you he is not the president. He is not the CEO. He is the person who endures all the dirt. The ED, the endures all the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> he is the executive director of La Casa of San Pedro, and he's going to kind of wind us up. You can cut your expenses or you can increase your income. <laughs> One of the oldest professions uh, in the uh, nonprofit world for raising money, and it is not. Not what? <laughs> so you know what it is. It is not prostitution. It is what Habitat, as the newcomer to the club, has done, and that is resale stores. Um, Goodwill's been doing it for 150 years, Salvation Army for probably longer. Um, that's the way to go. We took 40 ideas and we narrowed it down to retail stores. And we're going to try and make a little bit more money. Um, that's one way to do it. Uh, I think if there are retail stores all over the state, you'd make some good money. Um, it's amazing how much money Habitat makes from their little retail stores. I, I, don't, I don't know the Habitat stores if you hear of it, but uh, Morris, excuse me, Morris County does very well. So that's the income side. Um, of course, we're always trying to raise more money from our donors. That's getting a little more difficult than it used to be. I did have, and this is my second point and my last point, um, I did have somebody come to me about, uh, this is now the second time, saying, well, couldn't we get some venture capital for you to uh, um, get a big pile of money, 25 million maybe, and uh, then you could use that for the development of affordable housing, and I said that would be fine. <laughs> what the one basic thing was to have the vision to do uh, affordable housing. I mean, we have an 85 bed shelter, uh, and we went into affordable housing and, uh, and inspired um, Bob Parker, who finally entered the room after you said those wonderful things about it. But I think Bob should stand up. He's the one who's putting in 170 units or something in, in the last two weeks. Um, <laughs> I'm going to answer a question. Yeah. Sweet! This is going to be more fun than I thought. Um, the one thing is just, you know, have the vision to get it done. And uh, I will say that I had a board member who uh, caught on to that vision and was also able to uh, leverage a lot of money. And uh, so we had two capital campaigns, one for our first uh, uh, building to raise um, $2 million uh, to put that up with a little bit of home funds. And, and uh, uh, that, that was the beginning. And then we had about two years later another capital campaign to raise $4 million. And that was still that one, basically that one guy who said, I'm going to help you do this. And um, then we did a really tricky thing with our, uh, and probably nobody here, is anybody here from IRS? <laughs> Sweet. Here's what we did. We had a, a, a really uh, very philanthropic person come and uh, buy the first house, first 15-unit uh, apartment complex that we built from us for $2 million. So we got our $2 million back out of it. And 
and uh, we own the uh, we own the land in a land trust. He owns the building. We pay him a little rent every year, but because it cash flows so well, because it is um, it was the money was raised uh, from the philanthropic dollar mostly, and we got the two million dollars back. So now we can take that money and from the four million dollars we raised, we can take all that money. And what we've been doing is putting the money into getting the property up and running uh, in terms of, of getting the approvals and the architects' drawings and, and the land uh, sewed up. And then we were going to the state. Hello, state, where are you? We are going to miss you in the next five years or six. We went to the state and got money to fill in the, the, um, the rest of the money to develop it, which is why the 25 million dollars, I would like to really figure out how to do that. Maybe a banker person could help me with that. All right. All right. Thank you. Give a round of applause.